waffles in the morning, syrup sweet and slow. Golden stacks are rising, sunrise in the glow. Sticky joy so grand, breakfast on demand. Smile and take my hand in waffle wonderland. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Waffle Cast. So today we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff with Commander. A lot of stuff has happened in the last recent couple days besides the actual bannings. Um, we had the rules committee hand over to Watsi the power of what's going on with all of Commander. Uh, if you're watching this today, yesterday, they uh, announced uh, Watsi came on with a, it was like a daily MTG kind of live stream real quick. Uh, Q&A and what they're going to do uh, moving forward now that they have been handed the keys to Commander. So those are some of the things we're going to talk about right now. So what I want to do is uh, I want to start this off with a meme because I saw this and I thought it was really fitting for what's going to go on. So uh, if you haven't seen Star Wars, you are living under a rock, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the thing is, is this is... Uh, this fits really well with what's going on. So it's the the part where Queen Amidala brings forth to the council. But anyways, it says, in order to ensure the security and continued stability in partnership with the members of the existing rules committee, we are announcing that the rules committee is giving management of the commander format to the game design team of Wizards of the Coast for a safe and secure society. And of course, this is where... The senator comes in and so, says, so this is how Commander dies, with unchecked Watsi power. So that's going to be my first point to talk about with this, right? Um, I think this is on the level of severity of the reserve list, okay? Uh, back when people cried about Chronicles and Legends and, and the, the financial values and all this other stuff and how everything tanked, and then Watsi went... Okay, and they created the reserve list. And it has still been a controversial issue to this day. People uh, are for it. People are against it. Same thing with this. Uh, I've seen it, you know, mixed reviews. A lot of people are excited Watsi's taking over. A lot of people are uh, scared shitless of Watsi taking over. Um, and I'm going to get into a little bit later on my viewpoints, 100% with what I what I think about all of this. But I'm just presenting some things uh, right now to kind of set that up. So um, I thought this was very fitting, very interesting, um, because it does feel a lot like this. Okay. Um, and then, so the next thing I want to another point I want to bring up is uh, this meme here. It says ban list or play whatever you want. I'm not a cop, so. I've been preaching this. I know a lot of other people have been preaching this. Like, they're going to say what you can and can't play, but realistically, Commander is a casual format. Play whatever you want. If your playgroup wants to play with all the banned cards, play with them. Like, there's nothing stopping you. Literally, nobody's going to break down the door to your house and take your cards away because you're playing cards on the banned list. Like, it's just, yeah. Anyways, I, I've said enough on this. I know a lot of other people have said enough on this. Um, I like this one just because I kind of made this uh, joke in my video if you haven't seen it. Uh, it says, you and I are not so different. And it shows Mana Crypt with Ancient Tomb and City of Traitors. Uh, I thought that was really funny. Uh, if you've seen the skit that I did, it kind of plays off of this as well. So, And then uh, we're going to do one last meme before I get into this because I have another point with this as well. It says, threaten RC committee because I treat... Cardboard as an investment. Watsi takes over and bans stuff to push new product. Commander is ruined. It's all RC's fault. I'm sorry, but you guys did this to yourself. Like, you... Look, I have collected magic for years. I have sold. I have traded. I have bought. Yes, it does have value to it. But it is not an investment option. Can it be a collectible card game? Absolutely. There are pieces that are more desired and more valuable than others, but you should not be parking your money into magic as an investment. And if you do, the only, uh, the only area that I see as an opinion here, where you, if you would like to park money in to try to keep an investment or collect, 
would be like the power nine or reserve list. That's literally the only stuff that I would, in my opinion, uh, for me buy to hold on to as either a collector's item or something that'll be, you know, long-term valuable. Uh, some of this newer stuff, like the new Mana Crypts, the serialized cards, like all this other stuff, I'm sorry, but it's just not an investment. It's a it's a cash grab by Wizards. It's a it's a way to sell product to get people to buy it. Yes, the scarcity is there with the serialized and other things, but over the long term, um, I don't think these will hold up in value like the Power Nine and some of the other iconic collectible cards of old. So um, that's where I stand with that one. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about. Uh, with like what Gavin, Blake, Aaron Forsyth, all those guys talked about er, uh, earlier in the stream. I'm recording this Tuesday, so if you're watching it, it's Wednesday because that's when I upload my videos. But uh, I'm I'm paraphrasing a lot of the stuff that was said. If you want to go back and watch it, you can. But um, Gavin basically came out and said Jeweled, Jeweled Lotus was a mistake, which I 100% agree. Why would you print a Black Lotus for Commander? Like... Yes, the stipulation was there for Black Lotus or Black Lotus Jeweled Lotus to only be used for your commander, but yeah. Um, timeline for having those little, uh, the draft of the brackets is Magic on Vegas. I think that is super fast to go through like 30,000 cards, 30,000 plus cards, and uh, rate these all in a one through four bracket. I'll discuss that a little bit later, but yeah. Um, they are discussing using like a digital tool to get through it, so maybe they'll get through it pretty quickly. Um, they also said there's got, not going to be any separate ban list. The brackets will handle everything. They're not going to really separate. It's funny how they said they weren't going to separate CEDH uh, with casual, but then they go on later and they actually say that they're going to, but I'll get to that. Uh, Soul Ring's not going anywhere. So if you love Soul Ring, Soul Ring's here to stay. Apparently it's bracket zero, which... Um, I guess bracket zero is just like a commander staple card for any deck that's just not super powerful. Like they didn't really explain too much of it or I didn't catch it. Um, they talked about a point system where, you know, kind of like, you know, the, which is, you know, Canadian hand Highlander uses it and things like that. Um, but they, they're like, yeah, we're going to use the brackets instead. And so they're, they're using a lot of, of brawl components from arena which i guess brawl kind of already similarly uses a bracket system um but i really don't i i, I don't think this bracket system is going to be as good as they think it is um and i'll touch on it a little bit later and then they're going to take certain combos and place them in brackets so i find that interesting because Certain cards may be like a tier one bracket but then if it's put in a combo it's a tier two so there's a lot of confusion there. So if somebody sees that card, they might be like, oh, your deck is in the tier two. And then when the guy explains, oh, or person explains, oh, I don't have the combo, it's actually a tier one deck. Uh, yeah, anyways, a lot of confusion. I, I feel like this bracket system is gonna cause a lot of problems. Uh, it's gonna be more of a hindrance than a help, in my opinion. Um, and then <laughs> here, here's like a golden nugget from Wizards or Watsy really like driving home the point of what they're doing this all for. It says, making people happy is how we profit on Commander. Obviously, <laughs> they're a business. They're trying to make money. Yeah, they're, they, they outright said it. You know, they're doing this to make a profit. Um, and then it's unclear what, if anything, will be unbanned. I'll tell you right now, guys, with the huge backlash of the threats and all the other stuff, they're not going to unban Mana Crypt. They're not going to unban Doxai. They're not going to unban uh, Jeweled Lotus because in in hindsight of seeing how bad everything was, you guys shot yourself in the foot to get that stuff unbanned. If you wanted it unbanned, you should have been a lot more civil and said, we don't like this. Let's petition this. Let's be civil about this. Instead, and I'm not saying the whole community, but the toxic players of the community sent freaking death threats. Like, come on, people. Like, 
Everyone said it. I'm going to say it one last time because it's a dead horse that's been beaten, but it still needs to be said. These are real people. Don't send death threats. It, it's a cardboard card game. Like, come on, people. Be reasonable. Think. Obviously, I get it. There's a lot of pain involved with all of this. A lot of money was lost. But that's a lot of the other points I've said. Go with it. So anyways, moving on. I'm not going to talk, talk anymore on that. Just needs to be said one last time. Um, and then um, another thing, they did like a Q&A where they at. People ask questions. I mean, they said the new commander team will be about 10 to 20 people. Um, and then it'll have at least one CEDH person on the team. And they're not tied to the four brackets. So this is where it comes into where they didn't say they were going to split CEDH with casual. But then they mentioned that in response of CEDH being, you know, maybe having a fifth bracket. Where I don't know if that's bracket zero or if that's bracket five. Now we're up to six brackets. You see what I mean? Like, this is really confusing to me. Um, I don't even think they understand what they're doing yet. So, and they said they don't want it to seem like a shadowy cabal. Um, unknown if all team, team members will be publicly known or not. That right there bothers me because, and it's not from wizard side of things, Watsu side of things. That's from the community side of things. That they had to sit there and say that we may not reveal all the members because of how toxic part of the community is to send these these stupid threats. So, um, this is why we can't have nice things, apparently. Because people just can't, you know, discern what, what a card game is and what, like, financial stability and investment is and all this other... Look, I understand a lot of people lost a lot of money. I'm not taking away from that. What I'm trying to say is... Be smart about it. Yes, this game has some collectible aspects to it. Not taken away from that either. Yes, I feel like there are things that should be more valuable than other pieces to drive that collectible market. But at the end of the day, it is a game. So with all of that being said, this brings me to my portion of the video. I know this is going to be a longer video than I normally put out, but um, this brings me to what I have made is a personal decision for me. I see Commander really getting just absolutely destroyed by WotC. Um, as somebody who's played the game for years and has watched this company do some very interesting things and very bad things, um, I agree with the side of people that this is a terrible idea to have WotC take over. Uh, Somebody was mention, mentioning it earlier today that having Watsi take over is like having a conflict of interest here. I heard, you know, there's there's quite a bit of, of people on the uh, rules committee that were against Jeweled Lotus being printed. And Watsi said, nah, it'll be fine. And they printed it anyways. Um, and there was a bunch of other cards that were... Uh, brought to the rules committee's attention before printed and the rules committee said no this card should not be allowed as somebody who uh, has had interactions with Sheldon Minery the guy uh, the original creator of of the the RC for um, commander you know he was passionate about commander he wanted to develop the game um, that portion of the game into a very playable format very great guy um may you know he rest in peace um but i think it's only been what a year since his passing and this is completely falling apart because the 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 community cannot come together over this and now we have literally given the power to the dark side of watsi which is a corporation that is fueled by greed fueled by profits and, and giving their shareholders their dividends and all this other stuff. I'm sorry, but this is the end of the fun side of Commander. I will tell you right now that Commander is only going to get worse. I mean, look at... Oh, man. Look at back when Commander first started being printed by Watsi. We had one set of Commander decks a year. That was it. One. Like, they printed... a. 
I think we even had a span where there wasn't a year where there was a commander. I could be wrong. But I believe like 2011 came out with one. There might have been one in 2012 or 2013. I forget. There, I think there was a year that got skipped or something. Anyways, the point is, is ever since they've gotten a hold of this and understood that, wow, we could make a lot of money at this, that's all they've been doing. I mean, every single set now has commander decks. And we have, what, four or five sets a year? They made a modern set and put commander decks in it. I mean, come on, people. Like, they, they're literally going to print this into the ground. They're going to they're gonna force you to either buy it or walk away from it. And right now, I'm walking away from it. I'm done with Commander. I'm actually going to break apart my decks, sell my cards, or hold on to them depending on what format they may be playable in. If they're usable in Modern or Standard, I'll probably keep them so I can play Standard and, and Modern competitively. But other than that, I'm pretty much done with Commander. Uh, I feel like this was the nail in the coffin because people just couldn't play nice with their toys. Um, I feel bad and it, it hurts to see something that was meant to be fun and casual get so bastardized by a company and that the uh, community got so warped and... Uh, manipulated by this company to think that this is this is okay so those are my thoughts on this I know I'm one person out of millions of people who play this game but I know there's people out there that feel the same way as I do and I know there's people out there that are cheering for this I mean if you've seen the scene in Star Wars there was people cheering for the the emperor you know what i mean and then uh, later on they found out what they were really getting into and, and so it's like um yeah that's that's pretty much how i feel about all this it's literally taking that path but without taking up any more of your time um i just want to say hey you know remember guys first and foremost this is only a game you know worry about real life responsibilities worry about taking care of your families you know your your yourself and all the other stuff magic is not a top priority you know uh for me it, i've played it for over 20 years i've had you know i've met a lot of good people through it I've had a lot of good experiences but at the end of the day if push came to shove i would kick magic out of my life in a heartbeat to make sure that everything else flows well but hey to each their own that's what i got so Without any more, I'm going to leave you guys like I always do. You know, leave a comment down below. If you like this video and you want to see more stuff, please hit that subscribe button. Come back. Watch some other videos I got. You know, I do a lot of fun stuff. I'm working on some more fun skits. I do have some stuff coming out for <laughs> what recently happened and some other stuff. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always... Stay syrupy, my friend. Waffles in the morning, syrup seeding slow. Golden stacks of rice.